how you deliver social services to them, how you make sure that they have access to the labour market, which they do, how you make sure that they have access to medical services, how you make sure they have access to the social welfare system if that's what they need, Uh, primary education, secondary, higher education, housing, all of those things mm. are, are much harder to do if the state cannot house them immediately by itself. And the thing we all have to be open-minded about as well is that the numbers could get far higher than the 100,000. If you're taking in 100,000 people from it, Ukraine... It would mean increasing the population of Ireland by 2%, yeah. possibly almost literally overnight, because mm. as Zara was saying, they can't all stay in a, in a refugee centre in Poland. They need to be moved onwards. And no country can, can have a bottleneck where you've got some people staying while others come through. Mm. So Ireland could have have to receive them in very, very short order, literally mm. only a case of weeks, and you're increasing the population of Ireland by potentially 2%. It's diff- again, it's difficult to work out because there is no European formula where you can simply say, right, Ireland takes this percentage, Germany takes this, yeah. France takes mm-hmm. this. There's all a certain amount of negotiation and horse trading because not every country has the same vacancy of, of housing, not every country has the same availability mm-hmm. of doctors free. Yeah. Some countries like Ireland have more credit schools than others, so it's hard to get them into. So there's a lot of, of algorithms that have to be put together to figure it all out. But it could be more. We're all working now on the basis of five million people leaving Ukraine. Mm. What if the battle does not go to Ukraine's advantage? What if, in a fortnight, Russia occupies the entire country? And what if every man of conscription age then says, well, I'm leaving and I'm following my family to wherever Mm. else they've gone? Mm. Suddenly, five million could become conceivably 10. Mm. And then Ireland's share of that would be... 200,000 people yeah, and, 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 and every other yeah. country in Europe having to do something similar as well every other country in Europe in, in a continent which already has question marks about its energy security remember a couple of months ago in Ireland we were talking about blackouts mm. because data centres yes. were chewing up all this electricity we don't have enough but to generate I, for this I, and, again, and now you might have to accommodate 100,000 more consumers with all of the needs that they have as well as the housing and, and healthcare and everything else as well it's a huge challenge but what else can we do mm. what yeah. else can it's we do it's so interesting I don't mean to say that at all no of course no no, of course, of but course. It just, it no, I know. You're just huge, you're outlining the challenge. Huge.